Hello friends, this video on air and water pollution part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Talk about another effect called the greenhouse effect. So this effect also has a, a very uh, negative impact on our environment. So let us see what it is. So what do you think can be greenhouse effect? The name is greenhouse. Is it about a house which is green in color? Of course not. It is not a greenhouse, but it is an effect that helps to maintain the temperature within the earth. And by now you know that how important is the maintenance of temperature within the earth because for living organisms to survive, they need an appropriate temperature. If the temperature is too low or too high, then organisms might not be able to survive. So it is extremely important to maintain the optimum temperature within the earth. And that is what this effect does. So we will see that atmosphere plays a very important role in maintaining the temperature of earth. So let us see what is greenhouse effect. It is a phenomenon in which the earth's surface is warm due to incoming radiation through the atmosphere. So as I said, atmosphere is going to play the key role in greenhouse effect. So atmosphere is like a blanket around the earth. But this is a very special blanket. So this blanket allows the incoming radiation, allows the radiation. So this special type of blanket, it allows the radiation coming from the sun inside the earth to enter. So it will allow the incoming radiation to enter into the earth, but it will not allow all of it to go out of the earth. So as a result, what happens is some of the radiation gets trapped within the earth. And due to this trapping of some radiation, the earth's temperature increases or the earth gets warmed up. And this warming up of the earth is known as greenhouse effect. So basically there exists a balance between the incoming radiation and outgoing radiation from the earth. So whatever radiation is coming in and whatever radiation is going out. So depending upon that, it determines how much will be the temperature within the earth. So something like this happens. So let us suppose this is just like in this picture you can see this is the sun and this is the earth. So let me draw it. Let me do a rough sketch. Let us suppose this is the sun and let us say this is the earth. Now what happens? The solar radiation falls on the earth. Now as soon as it falls on the earth, what happens? It enters the atmosphere, allows it to enter inside the earth. So about 70% of the incoming solar radiation is absorbed by land and oceans of the earth. So they, they all absorb the solar radiation. Now what happens when they absorb the solar radiation? What happens when you stand outside in hot sun? The temperature of your body increases because you are absorbing the solar radiation. So the same thing happens here. The land and the ocean, they start heating up. Now when they heat up, so what happens when they heat up, they release the heat in the form of infrared radiation. So those substances on the surface of the earth, they will release infrared radiation. So this infrared radiation is released whenever an object gets heated. So it is released due to heat. Now what happens to this infrared radiation? Now this infrared radiation now wants to move out from the surface of the earth. But outside earth, you have a layer of atmosphere. Now when it tries to pass through the atmosphere, then what happens? Now it has been observed that not all of the infrared radiation is able to pass through the atmosphere into the outer space. Then what happens? The some part of it is definitely able to move out. But only some part of it is able to move out. A good proportion of infrared radiation gets absorbed here. So here in the atmosphere, there are certain gases which are present. What do they do? These gases absorb and re-emit the infrared radiation. That means they will absorb this infrared radiation so it will not allow it to escape into the space and then it will re-emit. It will emit it back to the surface of the earth. So basically what's happening is a part of the infrared radiation gets trapped inside the earth. 
Now this infrared radiation causes heating, so the earth, entire earth gets heated up, so this causes warm, warm, warmed up earth. And that is how the temperature of the earth increases. And this warming up of the earth is required for the survival of living organisms. So that is why it is said that had there been no atmosphere, in that case, the temperature of the earth would have been very, very low. It would have been so low that it would have not been suitable for the survival or existence of living organisms. So basically, this concept of trapping of infrared radiation and thus heating up of the earth is known as greenhouse effect and these gases which absorb the infrared radiation they are called greenhouse gases so this is basically the concept of greenhouse effect we will talk about it in little more detail also in the next few slides now let us take a simple analogy so that it becomes easier for you to understand the concept of greenhouse effect. Now let us forget about earth, atmosphere and infrared radiation. Let us take a simple example. Let us suppose this is you, this is your piggy bank, right? And the piggy bank is obviously used for um, saving your money. Now let us suppose in the first scenario, we consider first scenario. Now, in this scenario, what happens is you put coins into the piggy bank, okay? And the piggy bank doesn't have any way that you can take out money in between. So, you can take out the money from piggy bank only when you break it. So, you break it means it, that, that's the end of saving money, right? So, otherwise, you cannot take out money from it. So, you can just put your coins inside the piggy bank. So, that is the first scenario. So in this case, what will happen? Over a period of time, you will feel very happy because you will have a lot of money in your piggy bank. So your saving is increasing continuously. So that's why you are very happy. Because in this case, you have a lot of money. Because there, were, there was no option given to you wherein you could have withdrawn or you could have taken out any of those coins. Now let us consider another scenario, the second scenario where instead of the piggy bank you have a box where you can put your coins but that box is open so what happens in this case you are uh, very obediently putting coins into the box now since the box doesn't have a cover and it is open it is open to you as well as it is open to everybody else so what happens is you put coins into the box sometimes you yourself take a few coins out of the box sometimes somebody else takes out coins from your box so as a result, what happens? At the end of a few days, you don't have money at all. There is almost no money or very little money. That's because there was an option in which you, you could have taken out some money. And that's what you did. In Meanwhile, you started withdrawing coins as well. So that is the second scenario. So here you don't have savings. So you are very sad. Now we consider a third scenario, which is like a middle path between one and two. So in this case, you have a piggy bank, but the piggy bank is provided with a lock and key system. So that means now you can put your coins inside the piggy bank, but at the same time, it is not open that anytime you can take it out or anybody else can also take it out. Now you have a lock and key system so that in case of emergency, at least you can take out some money. So whenever it is like emergency, you can just open the lock and you can take out some money. So in this case also, over a period of time, you will be like relatively happy because you will, this is an intermediate situation where you have money it is not that you have very less money or you don't have a lot of money also so you are pretty okay with this situation also so these are the three scenarios now let us try to understand the concept of greenhouse effect using the same story so let us suppose here you are not you but sun so if this is sun which is the source of all the radiation okay and this piggy bank is the earth so piggy bank is the earth so piggy bank in these two cases and in this case the box is the earth and what happens in the first scenario what happens the sun is giving its radiation and the radiation enters inside the earth but there is no option by which the radiation can come out of the earth because there is no lock and key so in this case, what will happen? 
the earth will become too hot so the temperature on the earth will become very very high because in this case the radiations are only entering inside the earth there is no way the radiation can come out of the earth now let us look at the second scenario so here again you are the sun so the sun is giving its radiation but the earth is all open so there is no system by which you can trap the radiation which is being provided by the sun so what happens is whatever radiation tries to enter it all goes out so nothing comes inside basically so in this case the earth remains too cold but if you look at the intermediate situation in this case what happens it is neither too cold nor too hot so it is intermediate climate on the earth so which is the most desirable one so the most desirable one would be the intermediate one so where is the role of atmosphere in this case so this lock and key is nothing but the atmosphere and in this case you did not have any system of lock you did not have any closure also so in this case there was no atmosphere so had there been no atmosphere surrounding the earth in that case the earth would have been too cold because there would have been nobody to trap the energy from the sun and in the first scenario it says that atmosphere is there but the atmosphere is very dense so it is so dense that it doesn't allow a little bit of radiation also to go out so in that case if the temperature on the earth becomes too hot that also becomes difficult for the survival of living organisms so the most desirable scenario is this one so this scenario has become possible due to the presence of lock and key that means due to the presence of an atmosphere which is not very dense so in this case what happens is there are certain gases in the atmosphere only those gases will trap some of the infrared radiation and they will help in warming up the earth but otherwise the remaining part of the infrared radiation will go out of the earth so in this case the earth temperature will increase to some extent but it will not become very hot also so that is the concept of greenhouse effect so now with the help of this analogy we will try to understand greenhouse effect once again so let us try to thank you please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again